Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into this reading. It's a five card spread, including top and bottom of the deck. Your first card out is the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Knight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands in the reverse, the Fool in the reverse. At the top of the deck, we have the Magician in the reverse, and then the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Guys, this is uh, like part two of the first reading that I just did for you. The, no joke. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your favor. It is. Okay. What is going to make sure that this happens for you or like I feel is like a little bit of a requirement. What you could already be doing is that you need to be brave and be daring and be focused. Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. You have decided to cut out anything that is not serving you right now. And it's more of like Oh, it's not. It's like I'm in like focus mode. If it's not part of my priority, then I'm not really paying attention to it. I like the fact that you're in Knight of Swords mode feels like I don't even like feel like going back and forth with old things or distracting things. I'm really when when you're a knight, you're 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 on the horse. You are on the horse. You're galloping. You're doing what you got to do. Some of you guys are like you're trying to move fast to what it is. But I think you've learned too. See, it's funny how your Knight of Swords is moving fast, but the Eight of Pentacles is sitting, right? Um, you're moving fast, you're being brave, but I think even in your process, you've learned to slow down and be a little bit more methodical with it. But I still think you're like daring. I don't think you've lost the thing that catches the attention. See, because the Knight of Swords can be disruptive. It, he can be disruptive and what you say or what you do may, you know, disrupt what people are doing or thinking or catches their attention. But you've learned if you were doing it for shock value, you've learned how to like hone it in for more of a catch your attention rather than like kind of jar you. You know, that could be for somebody. I just feel that because those are two kind of different energies, but they're doing the same thing. They're focusing. They're determined. There's so much determination here. It just, it really feels like um, the magic in what happens for you is within your focus, like your ability to focus. Whether you were going too fast or you, or you learned to go slow, is the magic of it all was that I was single-minded and determined and I knew where I was going, you know? Even when I didn't know where I was going. You never gave up, right? Now, there's a big thing here uh, about a person yeah, this person has a particular energy in your life that's not, um, I'll say this. You got a six of wands here. These are your reversals. Six of wands, fool in reverse, the magician in the reverse, queen of wands, right? This person is feeling scattered. They're scattered and I know they're scattered because of the fool and the magician both being in the reverse. This person should have the capability to do what you're doing, but for whatever reason, because they want to move too fast, they, they can't gather their energies properly. This person sees your success, sees the way you operate, and they do not want to applaud you for it. All right? This is when you have made a victory and everybody's clapping for you. This is they don't want to clap, maybe because they're jealous. More than likely they are. And they do talk behind your back. All right. They are sharp with the tongue, but they're also good at um, I'm going to tell you about this person. They're good at trying to make you second guess yourself, talking behind your back and then acting like they weren't, you know, um, 
This person knows how to connect dots. They may even know particular people, but they're not producing. That's the difference. You're producing. And this person isn't producing. See, for some of you, this is just um, somebody who can fake it, really, really fake it till they make it kind of person. Um, and then for others of you, this could be someone who had made a certain amount of success, but it's kind of fallen off and they're not, you know, they're not producing anymore. But they see you and they don't want to applaud you. They may talk behind your back. And um, they're very gimmicky. This is gimmicks with the fool and the magician. Like they, th I keep, when I tell y'all the copycat energy is for real, like there are people who are going to try to take little pieces of what you do and try to recreate it. And it's not the same thing. It's just not the same thing. That's why I like, I wouldn't get too mad if you find people doing that. They, they can't recreate the originality of you. Okay. Give me a sec, y'all. Yeah. So right here, when you got the fool and the six of wands, this person is trying to play a game in order to get ahead. Whatever they're doing isn't serious, whether it is trying to uh, establish a relationship with you or trying to mimic the thing you do. It's just like, you know, oh, if if I do this and do that, it equals success. See, the the powerful thing about the magician is the way he knows how to summon energy and then make the connections. But the problem of the magician, how he sort of uh, progresses in the major arcana when he becomes the hermit or um, who else is related to him in that uh, Mercury kind of energy. But let's just say the hermit for right now because I can't think. But um, the hermit has wisdom. Wisdom gives you power. This magician in reverse energy is sort of like uh, loopholes. I'm looking for a loophole. I'm looking for the fastest way to find the answer. So this and this equals this. That's what it is without have experiencing what it takes to truly know something. They're so used to uh, making short, quick connections or, 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 you know, getting to know this person and doing favors and deals that they never took your route. They never took the focus route of cutting things out to really have some longevity. Um, yeah, yeah. And so instead of discovering themselves in a real holistic way, the way you've done, they're, they're going to try to mimic your process or mimic the results of your process. OK, and this could either be someone who is already established or just someone who really, um, like I said, is a really good fake it till you make it kind of person. Very good at that. You know, may not have really produced anything, just sort of it's so gimmicky. OK, it's a hijacking. This is a hijacking of using tricks and 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 double talk and different things like that. You know, give me a sec. Because this is the like, you know, Queen of Wands is cool. So is the magician. But in the reverse, they become the energy is different. See, the Queen of Wands makes those connections, is helping people out, you know, um, very socially uh, motivated, uh, easygoing, smooth type person in the reverse. You know, they're, it's a gossipy, you know, let me say something bad about somebody in order to make a connection. Let me pretend to be, you know, like I'm in the know kind of person. You did it the right way. Because you did it the right way, this is why Jupiter is going to bless you, Will of Fortune. This is why things are, are working out for you. Give me a second, y'all. Right. So here, look. This is, I'm trying to tell y'all, because here's Jupiter again. Past the Queen of Wands, we have Temperance in the reverse. Again, I'm trying to tell you, whoever this person is, their energy is scattered. I don't know. I don't know if it's drugs. I don't know if it's uh, just life is not going the way they want it to go, but they can't seem to find their footing. They may be trying to hide that they can't find their foot. Um, they really can't fool is in reverse. I don't know what path they're trying to take. I don't know, you know, what kind of new start they're trying to make, but they, they can't get there. The funny thing is, is that, you know, this person could have lost a lot of power. They always stayed in one stage. See, this is the great these are beginning cards of the uh, major arcana, right? They're, they have been where they've always been. I don't think that this person has evolved. This is why I was trying to tell you about, you know, how the magician evolves into the hermit. This person didn't want to do that. You have done that. You know, the Virgo energy of analyzing, working hard is here in the Eight of Pentacles. They like that, you know, that first 
shot of fame or attention or whatever it was that they were able to do. Um, and they keep, they keep thinking like, if I just keep acting this way, then it'll always work out. I don't have to go no deeper. I know what people like. I'll just keep doing that. Trying to keep doing whatever they think is popular. Okay. Hold on. Look. So, right. Temperance is in the reverse. Three of Cups is after that. Three of Cups is another card of communication. This is when friends and different people and social groups, and I met these people at this party, da, 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 da. And we all had a really good time. But see, this is in the reverse. Now, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all about certain people trying to make friends with you that do not match your energy, that vibrationally don't match. You have to have your intuition on about that. See, Eight of Swords is in the reverse. Now, remember, when you have the Eight of Swords, it's generally... Um, especially when it comes to relationships, I usually pick the wrong people because I'm blocked, you know, something I don't see, right? But your eight of swords is actually in the reverse. You don't think like that anymore because you're not thirsty and you're not, um, worried about being accepted. You've accepted yourself. That's why in your last reading, you had the nine of cups. When you accept yourself, it's easier for you to make the right connections, it's easier for you to spot out who does not match me vibrationally, who I don't need to work with, because this is why I'm saying this, because this magician, queen of wands person on the outside with these kinds of cards may look like that's who I should entertain. And you shouldn't because they're playing the game. It's a game to them. The success is just a game. It's not something of a of a learning, of an understanding, of a coming about. You know, un they don't want to know themselves. They just want to make the right moves. That's all they want to do. That's how they want to get ahead. OK, hold on. Yeah, because uh, they just like the feeling of winning. They don't want to deal with the failure. They don't want to deal with. I got to cut some stuff out. They don't like going the route you took. They don't like that you are very honest. I swear to God, you're so honest. You're so hardworking and you believe in yourself. You would never take the time out to play all of these games. I ain't got time for the games. I don't have time for all of these games, these tricks, these parlor tricks. Who got time for parlor tricks? I'm telling you who I am. I'm, I'm being upfront about what it is I stand for, who I am. What it is that I believe. I know, like I said, some of you may have been very strong with it and have learned to like give it to people in a way that's more digestible. But you did it. You did it. You did it. There could have been people who thought that you wouldn't be able to do it like that. You know, that you were too passionate or something and you learned. And they're like, oh, fuck. Like, oh, it's actually going to work out for them. They, they, like, like I said, they, um, what is it? When I was saying, oh, that last reading about, uh, the sugar daddy, sugar mama, honing. It was not only honing in. I can't remember the word I used, but uh, you've it's not finessed. Let me stop. I'll, it'll come to me later. But you have learned how to, you know, cut. Like I said, cut away the things that, that aren't serving you, but also make edits to whatever it is that you are doing, whether it be in your you know, the way you deliver a message or the way you deliver a product or something like that. So give me a sec. Yeah. I, when I tell you somebody not doing good, they not doing good. Like the, um, here we go. Five of Pentacles is in the reverse. Seven of Cups is in the reverse. Now, this could be saying a couple things because then after that is the Ace of Wands. This could either be talking about the other person or it could be talking about you. You have come out of lack. You have come out of confusion, right? And because of that, you're able to capitalize on an opportunity given. You're able to capitalize on your energy. Like I found my energy and I learned how to focus with it. I got a lot of drive. Something hit me hard, which gave me this queen of pentacles, organized, conscientious way of doing things that actually, you know, doubled up my money. You know, hold on. Give me a second. Yes. Yes. You came out of this energy, but there are other people who are still in this energy of confusion, of lack, but pretending like, you know, they know what's going on or what to do or who to talk to. You don't got to worry. Um, there is this, see this energy. So the reading before about excluding you and all this kind of stuff, God is on your side. Okay. God is on your side. Your knowledge and intelligence is on your side and that cannot be discounted. So if there is anyone in the midst trying to make it seem like, well, well, I'm just going to make sure you're not a part of the circle. That's not going to work. 
That's not going to work. So don't worry about somebody trying to push you out, right? Because they're intimidated by you. Don't worry about that. You'll, you're going to be fine. Everything for you will happen because you did it the right way. You did it the right way. So this intimidation, this I refuse to recognize you, um, I'm going to copy you, all that. Don't. Don't let it even, don't lose uh, any sleep on that, right? This person doesn't know what they're doing. They, are, they have always been a beginner and they've been pretending to be more than what it is that they truly are. You know, a, a, a straight fool and not in a good way, Okay. Definitely. Hold on. Let me see if we got anything else. No, no, no. That's about it. Trust. Trust the decisions you make. Trust that, you know, I'm going forward with what it is I believe in. Trust that um, the, the, the focus and the constantly producing that no matter what, I'm just going to keep doing this every day. I'm going to keep doing it. That it's going to be in your favor. And that's all the universe wanted from you. That's all they wanted. They needed to know that you had conviction for what it is that they're about to bless you on. Jupiter is talking about faith. And the only way to truly have faith is to keep doing something and to not stray away from it. To go hard for it. You did it. You did it. And other people will try to copy it. But it won't last because they don't have the amount of energy built up the way you did. All right. Your conviction is true. So that's what I have for you. If the reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. All right, guys. See you.